Hello, BHS. I'm Caroline Kaleko. And I'm Taylor Thompson. And we have some pretty sick things to talk about today. Let's jump right into it. We have some incredible art classes and teachers here at BHS. The ceramics program is amazing, and they create some really awesome pieces. Heck yeah, let's check them out. Hi BHS, I'm Olivia Elias. And I'm Katherine Goswine, and we're going to be taking a quick look at what goes on in ceramics. Tiffany. Caroline. So why did you guys choose this elective? Um, I heard from upperclassmen that it was a really fun class and I was kind of interested in trying something new. Because I wanted to do something fun and I wanted to be creative. And why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your favorite projects that you did? Um, so this is like a little lantern type of thing and you put a candle in it and it lights up. It has butterflies on it, so... Um, this is a cell phone holder, so you put your phone here and you can just lean it on there when it's charging and when you're watching movies. I'm here with... Jared. Jack. So what is their favorite thing about this class? Uh, it's all hands-on and you don't have to worry about studying. Yeah, it's very like free and open. You can do whatever you want, pretty much. Alright, so tell me a bit about your projects. It's a cell phone holder <laughs> with a charging port. Uh, this is a log. That's going to be a clock. Uh, yeah. This is... Emily Stetner. Um, typically, how long does it take for you to finish one piece? Well, it kind of depends on um, how big the piece is, but it can take anywhere from like one week to three weeks. And why don't you tell us a little bit about your project here? So this is a Lumiere, and it like you can put a candle inside, and it gives off light throughout these holes, and it's supposed to look like um, SpongeBob's house. I'm here with... Mr. Burke, I teach ceramics. So what's your favorite thing about teaching the class? I love getting messy and making stuff in 3D like this teapot. OK, can you tell us a little bit about your piece? This teapot has a lot of texture on it. We glaze the inside. It's food safe, so you can drink iced tea out of it on a nice day. Beautiful. Perfect, thank you. Taylor, what are some games you like to play? Well, you see, I find myself spending my time playing Roblox pretty often. How about you? I mean, personally, I do love The Sims. That's a pretty great game. Thank you. Did you know that video gaming is a sport and a club here at BHS? It is? Yeah, check it out. Hey, BHS, it's Anna Houck, and today we're at an eSports tournament. Let's check it out. I'm with... You and Parker Eaton. And what is eSports? Esports is not as similar to normal sports as most people say or think. Esports is basically competitive video gaming online against other people. And how'd you get involved with esports? I had a friend who was really into esports, and I've just been into video games as more of a casual kind of thing, and he dragged me into it. Since then, I've loved it. Uh, I was following my friends around. I thought it was really fun going around just like playing video games. They were doing the exact same tournament setting in the school at a different spot. So it's mainly just been stuck here in the school when there's posters up. I follow my friends into like the whole thing, but like I do tend to keep uh, my competitive play up, but it's only just for fun, really. And what kind of games do you play? Um, right now, the main game I play is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love that game. Um, I'm at a tournament for it right now, which is super cool. And I played League of Legends for the high school, actually. Uh, generally, the games I play are probably fighting games. Uh, I like playing Super Smash Bros. and losing. What's your best strategy to stay focused? Best strategy to stay focused is sort of like keep my head in the game, don't think of anything else. If I have music, then I'll listen to music. I don't really use a strategy to stay focused when I'm playing the game. I mainly just do it to have fun. I don't really have a strategy going into it. I'm with... Matt Benoit. And how do students get involved with eSports? On our new electronic panel, we have a flyer that gives information with my email, mbenoit at barrington220.org, where you can reach out or you can always go to the activities office. And what's a season like? 
So for eSports, the uh, traditional season is two parts, one in the fall and one in the spring. Um, so if you are in a regular sport, you're still able to participate either the first half or the second half of the year. Wow, that's awesome. It is. Moving on, let's send it over to the trap with some sports desk. Good morning, BHS, and welcome back to another edition of Barrington Sports Desk. As always, I'm your host, Riley Trapp. Let's not waste any time and roll that intro. First up is girls swimming and diving who won their fourth consecutive MSL conference title with a score of 291. The Phillies were led by senior Anna Mae King who had a score of 447.95. The next closest team score to the Phillies was that of Hershey with a score of 245.5. Next up is girls cross country. The Phillies took second place in the sectional tournament and will be heading down to state to end their season. So congrats to the Phillies and good luck. Lastly is Bronco football. The boys unfortunately lost to Niles Notre Dame this past Saturday by a score of 23 to 21, ending their season in the shot at the state championship. Uh, on behalf of Bronco football, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who came out and supported us during our season. You guys had a ton of electricity and we fed off of them. That will wrap up this edition of Barrington Sports Desk. As always, I'm your host, Riley Trapp, sending it back to the studio. Thanks, Riley. Without sports desk, I'd be lost in the world of sports at BHS. Same here. Now let's send it over to Didi to get you in the know. What's up, Barrington? I'm Didi Bruces, and it's time to get you in the know. Musical audition information for our upcoming production of Footloose is available on the Barrington High School website under the 2019 to 2020 season tab on the Fine Visual and Performing Arts page. Auditions will take place on November 18th and 19th. An audition music workshop will take place on Tuesday, November 12th after school in the choir room. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Nowak or Mr. Pemberton. Performances of The Diary of Anne Frank will be taking place this Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are general admission. This harrowing production is not to be missed, so get your tickets on the BHS website today. A fifth season, Hope Shines on Baton Disease, ninth annual fundraiser will take place on November 9, 2019 in Chicago. The event will provide a casual yet purposeful atmosphere with live and silent auctions, dinner and dessert. Visit www.hopeforbridget.com for more information. Attend an upcoming career check to the Mechanic Performing Arts Center on November 12th to explore careers in the theater industry or attend a trek to the UOP Honeywell Engineering event on November 20th to explore careers in engineering. See Mrs. Marabella and Student Services for more information. That's all for this week, Barrington. I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and now you're in the know. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Caroline Kaleko. And I'm Taylor Thompson. Spread positivity and love your peers. Thanks, BHS.